Hello world. In this video, I will be walking through Gray MIDI, which is a Max for Live audio to MIDI device that takes an incoming audio signal and produces a stream of MIDI notes that resemble that audio stream. So we'll walk through the controls and demonstrate how it works and show some fun things you can do with it. Let's do it. So on the left, you can see that there is an input section where you can select the input channel that you want to use for converting into MIDI. You can select left or right, and there's a sort of a pre-gain control so you can dial in the right level. I just have a simple one, two, three, four test file. Here's what it sounds like dry. One, two, three, four. Now here's what it sounds like going through the effect. And um, that's just using the stock grand piano instrument in live. But if you wanted to, you could, you know, replace that with any MIDI instrument. So here's a just random different one. And let's pick a different file to demo what that sounds like. Here's dry. And here's what. Cool. So um, let's go through the rest of the controls. We have the minimum note. So ultimately this is doing FFT analysis on the incoming audio and it's producing a stream of MIDI notes based on how loud each uh, part of the incoming audio signal, if you break it into the frequency domain, how loud each of those little bins is. Um, so it's resynthesizing it as MIDI notes, which means that we can control which like the range of MIDI notes that we want to reproduce. So if I say the minimum note should be 64, the maximum note should be 90, that's a much tinier range, kind of more in the middle, high middle part of the piano. So we'll hear a different Or if we go back to this file. I'm going to remove, or uh, I'm going to set the threshold lower. Just so that um, the threshold basically just says if the amplitude for that particular frequency bin uh, goes above this threshold, then produce a note for that. Um, so if you put this really down low, it'll produce almost a note at every single frequency bin. And we can look at what those notes look like if we record while playing. Um, yeah, so as you can see, when threshold is very low, it's playing almost every note within the range that we've configured. If I delete that, and then increase the threshold, put this back to the default values, and record again. You can see that it's not every note that it's playing. There's kind of more space between some of the notes. All right, so, Sorry, I got lost in my set there for a second. Um, the last two controls for the device are minimum velocity and maximum velocity. That just controls, um, it's, it's if I set these really low, then it's kind of forcing all of the resulting MIDI notes to be quite soft. And if I do the opposite, then they'd all be really loud notes. So you can just control the sort of dynamic range of the resulting MIDI output. So obviously that depends a little bit on what MIDI instrument you're using with this. Velocity can sometimes have a, mag a massive effect on an instrument, or in some cases it can have no effect. So it just depends, you would dial it in based on the instrument that you're using in a particular situation. And then the last control is the uh, basically the destination for inside of Ableton Live, or uh, if you want to set it to an external instrument, you can just select the place that you want to transmit the MIDI notes to, as well as the channel. So in this case, I'm transmitting it, uh, you know, this device is running on track one, and then it's transmitting the MIDI notes to track two, where there's instruments, where there's a MIDI instrument. 
uh, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I'll play one one more sample just to kind of demo what it can do. And um, yeah, obviously since these are standard Ableton Live user interface elements, you can modulate them and do all sorts of fun things like that. Uh, it's a really interesting device for creating weird patterns that come from you know, audio. So yeah, there's a lot you can do with it to just come up with weird material. And yeah, check it out on my Grum Gumroad page. so I can explain what I just did. Um, I changed it so that the range of these notes is 36 to 51, which is the range of all the notes in this sort of default drum rack, um, so that there's no notes that are going outside to places where there's no file assigned. So yeah, here we go. <laughs> Uh, these are just kind of completely improvised examples of what you can do uh, just for some other uh, I don't know ideas is like I've played techno tracks through YouTube and I've also played like sounds of the ocean through YouTube and just like transmitted the sort of chaotic sounds of waves and stuff uh, into this to play notes and um, you know by the time it's in MIDI then you can add like a scale to it or whatever and uh, you know you could like play a a synth with ocean sounds um so yeah there's a lot of fun things you can do with it and uh yeah thanks for watching peace out y'all bye <laughs>